This is not done yet. Hey guys, Marco here from the Vatican's and welcome. Today we're going to check out the new old stock PBHP2 Wolfgang. My head is spinning already. Let's go unpack it. Before we open the case, I do want to say a few disclaimers. Uh, first and foremost, thank you so much for those beautiful comments on my uh, Ernie Ball versus PV versus EVH, my head is spinning review. Um, and we're going to continue the trend with the next, well, <laughs> I don't know what to call it now, but let's back up. Couple of disclaimers. I'm not going to compare this guitar to the PB Wolfgang. I have a review on it. We're going to give it a fair shot and treat it as a standalone guitar. For you who have been living under a rock, if you have not, fast forward three minutes. If you have, check this out. PB decided in 2017-18 at the NAMM show, I saw it to bring back the PB Wolfgang. However, due to legalities, they're calling it the HP2, named after the founder Awesome dude, Hartley PV. The twist for version two, second time around. This was decided before Eddie passed away. This is years ago, so a lot of people think they're doing this to milk it. They're not. It was a lot of issues that were made in the US, presum presumably uh, in Mississippi, Meridian, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And there was a lot of issues. I tried two of them, two, two of them, and they were a disaster. Fret work was terrible. The finish was really off. So, even worse, some were good, some were not. And as you know, inconsistencies in this business will kill you. They stopped production due to demands they couldn't keep up. Not that that's any effing excuse for shipping a $2,200 guitar that's bad. Now they're revamping it, built in Eastern Europe. I know a lot of people are turned off by that. I, however, was not. And so now the price, the list price is still $2,500. You can get it for less. We'll talk about that when we get into the guitar. However, supposedly now it's inspected in the USA. They cannot brand it as a made in the USA guitar, but apparently the quality is balls out amazing. And I have not tried one of those new 2021s. Supposedly, according to the PV management, the first 40 or 50 or 60 or 100 are gonna be NOS, new old stock, meaning used from wood that was left over for the Wolfgang. It should be exactly the same guitar minus the Wolfgang badge. Even though uh, I think the fret wire is a little bit different, the pickups are slightly differently wound and it has a push-pull. We'll see in a second. I'm doing this in real time with you. Let's see what it's all about. But apparently the quality is supposed to be absolutely superb. So don't be turned off. Let's give it a fair chance. Let's see if the made in the USA uh, is not applying here. If maybe it still works, if it's going to be great, we don't know, but let's find out. So the PB website as usual is completely not that much up to date. Um, as you can see, there's only literally two guitars that are being sold. And over the years, for you guys who know, they haven't really done a great job with staying up to date with the website or any kind of products for that matter. Um, it's a little bit what I call the Washburn syndrome. These are the four colors available right now. A beautiful uh, deep ocean a burst that was available in 2017 and 18 as well. Again, a lot of issues with those guitars. Some were great, some were not. Uh, this is the uh, Tiger Eye, which is very cool. And then they have the uh, Blue or Moon Burst, they call it. Really, really nice. And the Black. Today we will review the Black. So pretty much exactly the same as the Wolfgang. If you want specs, go somewhere else. Let's see the difference. Everything's pretty much the same. 25 and a half inch scale. This is nice, graphite reinforced. I'm not sure if that was the case in the original PB Wolfgang. I could be wrong, correct me in the comments. Switchcraft, very nice. 
Uh, bass, what, listen, it's exactly the same guitar. Uh, again, the first batch should be NOS. They're trying to tell you that it's leftover wood from the past. Oh boy, let's see. Also, the original run in 2017 had some issues with the way they were doing the serial numbering. And then these guys actually had the nerve to ship some of the guitars with the serial number being on a sticker. Are you kidding me? Push, pull, coil. Okay, you can do single coil. I doubt you'll be using it much for this. Let's be honest. If you are buying this guitar, you are buying it because you want a Wolfgang or something like it. Um, premium hard shell case, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the radius is still 15. However, we went to a jumbo now. The original original fret wire on the PB Wolfgang was a little unique. So again, um, not all the stores have them. You can find them on Reverb. AMS has them now. Zounds. Sweetwater did carry them, the initial batch, but not at this moment. So it will be interesting to see how they grow. The price point is rather a lot for a guitar that's not made in the U.S. Again, East, Eastern Europe, go do the research. There's some great stuff that comes out of there. But still, man, 2500 bucks, 300 more than the initial batch. Uh, man, this better be incredible when we open up the case here in a few seconds because that's a lot of money, man, for any guitar. And I do, listen, there's a lot of great stuff made in Eastern Europe, but, I mean, this is going to be a tall order. And I tell you, we will be unforgiving. I mean, this thing better live up to it. Of course, the pictures are all fantastic and blah, blah, blah. But, uh, oh boy, man, this is going to be do or die for PV. All right, here we are. Let's do this in real time. I know it's crazy. I get always so nervous because I do these things in real time and I'm always scared the case is going to open and next thing you know, there's a broken neck or something. But I do want to analyze the case because the whole thing is about um, the experience of owning it. And I do have my phone here on the gimbal, so I'm sorry if it goes a little slow, but most importantly, it's steady. This is a really cool case, I have to say. This is a little bit like um, that Eric Johnson thing, kind of a of a vibe and I'm really, really, really digging it. I really like the badge here, uh, a little, uh, you know, it's plastic over it. Here's the actual serial. So this is number 10, as you can tell. This should be an NOS, it will be really interesting to see. Uh, it's kind of old copper, really, really cool case, not gonna lie, this is pretty, uh, so far so good. I'm, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm, I'm really, I can feel the adrenaline because I am, just dying to open it, so let's do it. I think, um, and I don't want to skip over something like the case because it's it's important. Listen, there's guitars that come with much shittier cases than this. All right, yeah, I'm gonna step out of the way now, adjust my gimbal, and get ready for the big moment. And here, let me switch hands. Here we go. Of course, the first mandatory thing is the smell. Ah, it doesn't have that Gibson smell, but that's okay. So, all right, this doesn't kind of want to sit. So it, it definitely wants to come down. Let me reposition it. I have repositioned the case and here we are. All right, let's take this in. This is, I'm not gonna lie. It appears on first sight, pretty freaking gorgeous. I am not going to lie to you. I am, let's check out the bird's eye. This is curved now. Remember on the original Wolfgangs, this is pretty sharp, so they curved it here. I'm following the camera. I don't even wanna jump ahead with my eyes. So I'm pretty, my first impression, I'm not going to lie. This is pretty, Damn effing sexy. Top binding, okay. You can tell the little speck dust from, from shipment. So this truly is, appears to be brand spanking new. Love the high quality chrome here on the uh, redesigned. Remember, this had kind of really ugly looking screws on the Wolfgang. And again, I'm per trust me guys, I'm, I want nothing more than to put the PV Wolfgang against it, but I don't want to do that. PV is not market marketing this as a Wolfgang. Let's give it a fair shot. Let's truly analyze the guitar for what it is. Cause otherwise it turns into a comparison that is not fair to either PV nor the PV Wolfgang for that matter. This is split. Yes, it is. Feels very good. I will say it feels really good, good quality. Um, 
There's that beautiful pocket for the uh, for the Floyd Rose. The pickups are covered in plastic. Yes, so we have plastic to remove for protection here. Okay, there you go. Oh, there's one. And there's two. All right, I uh I'm I'm not going to lie, guys. This is pretty impressive so far. So let's take it out. We'll get back to the guitar in a second. The guitar is over there. Uh, there's Archie. Let's see the case candy. Um, it's so hard for me not to walk over to the guitar right away and analyze it more and plug it in. But I love doing this in real time with you. Uh, the case is absolute top-notch quality. The velvet, the finishing, uh, the support. I love how they did this with the arch, but then also kind of like some of the newer Fender uh, guitars are coming with, with the full length neck support. So the chance of this neck breaking is pretty slim to none. It feels super soft, comfy, high end. Uh, I have to say right now, as of right now, we're in very, very good shape. I am incredibly impressed. I feel like it's something very high end, expensive, uh, I mean, I'm really, really, we're in, we're in good shape right now. Let's open this. Okay. Uh, this was probably open for inspection. That's correct, as they do. Um, because AMM sets it up. So, a uh, wrench, tram arm, now screw in compared to the PB Wolfgang, which was from the back, adjustable. Uh, all right, so... Inspected by, yeah, this is, that's it, shame. This would have really, really been nice to have a little booklet saying, a little statement saying how happy they are to bring this back, a little you know, simple, not expensive. Listen, I'm big on case candy. I know some of you could care less, sorry, could not care less. But this is really good, man. This is top quality stuff. I mean, this is one of the better cases I've seen in a long time. I mean, I've bought guitars that cost more than this one and it does not come with such a great case. Truly padded really nicely. I mean, this is, this is good stuff. Uh, shame on the case, Candy. I do have to say, it would have been nice to commemorate this big event, especially for the NOS models. This is number 10, this is pretty cool. Uh, only the 10th ever made from the new old stock. If we believe that the wood truly is leftover wood from the Wolfgangs. And uh, listen, uh, at this point I have no indication of them lying. But enough of this stuff. Let's get to the guitar. So here it is. And uh, it's always fun doing this in real time. I'm blasting this with the ring light. So... Um... So we're kind of discovering this at the same time. You know what, well, let's just start from the, from the top, okay? That beautiful PV headstock, one of my favorites. Looks really a little dusty, but beautiful. Obviously missing the Wolfgang designation. Um, gorgeous. The bird's eye looks really nice. This is a stunning piece of bird's eye. I ironically remember uh, the more bird's eye, the less stable, but uh, I'm sure this guitar will outlive all of us. The binding looks gorgeous. A little thicker on the top than the PV Wolfgang used to be, which I love because it gives it a little bit like that stealth, which is super wrapped on the top. And I'll show you here. If you remember, it has like a custom triple um kind of like a les paul custom on the top so it looks really really enclosed with the binding which i love so this one mimics that a little bit um, the zebras are reversed now compared to the wolfgang the tremolo is definitely an improvement much nicer it is rounded let me get a little bit out of the light here because it's super bright i love the chrome tips on tip it looks really high end no uh no detuners you're gonna have to put that on yourself if you want to 
uh, mimic the uh, Wolfgang, and I like that. You know, they didn't listen. It's not a Wolfgang. It's an HP two. The frets. You know what? Let's bring that into the light. Oh yeah, that is night and day compared to the 2017. It's gorgeous glued on. See what a lot of people don't understand and they were so scared when they heard Eastern Europe. And I mean this not as an insult. Eastern Europe craftsmanship is much different than Indonesia and Mexico. The salary is a little bit more. Uh, you know, you can't get labor for $4 an hour like in some other countries. And there's some incredible instruments that come from the Czech Republic, Germany, etc., etc. So uh, this was do or die for PV. And I think I know which company they picked. I'm not going to say here which company they picked to do their guitars because it's not official. It's not confirmed. But um, this is top quality stuff. This is just stuff you would have not been able to make in. Mexico, let alone Indonesia or other places. And, and, and ironically, not even in the US. Remember, they couldn't keep up with demand, which is BS, which is code for, we just couldn't afford to get it built this well. So we outsourced it to other places in Europe. As you can see, even my cat is excited. Let's turn it around. All right, looks looks really good we have the plastic still covering here oh hey there Layla the cat is going going uh getting really really excited so um that looks absolutely nice let me get a little bit out of the light so you can see the uh oh, where are you let's say hi to Layla are you ready you want to be on the gimbal there you go look at that little puppy a sphinx that's growing hair we have two of them. One grows here, the other one doesn't. Hi, are you excited for the new Wolfie? Sorry, HP2, HP2, HP2. It looks almost matte under the light, but trust me, it's fully glossy. It's just I'm blasting it with the ring. As you can tell, it's, it doesn't look nearly as matte as it might appear on the video. Very nicely done here. Um, I have mixed feelings on this being recessed, but you know I'll probably have this open anyway. So yeah, there's plastic on that that we can remove and eventually we'll do that let's check out this uh, yeah this is just absolutely gorgeous this is a really really nice piece of wood let me zoom out a little bit here i mean this is nice guys this is nice period forget a pvhp2 or not but this is just good stuff man and here's a little bit where my disappointment is with the NOS designation. They all have just the NOS stamp. They should have put the number here. They should have put NOS 10. I think that's, you know, because if you lose that little card, you don't know. Um, but um, that looks great, guys. Let's check out the frets from this side. Here's your uh, the quarter song. You can tell. Let me see if I can position the guitar like that. There you go for you. I'll get a little bit out of the way with the light here. There you go. Gorgeous quarter sawn. Right where you want it, either in the middle or by the fretboard. Sorry about the light. But and even flamed. Oh wow. And look at that perfectly glued on fretboard right there. Let me see if I can get in for you to see. Yeah, the the fretwork is 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 incredible. I mean, this is not even, this doesn't even touch the 2017. So made in USA uh, versus made in Czech. Looks like Czech is winning so far. The neck feels absolutely smooth. Just uh, hard to describe, kind of even smoother than the original Wolfgang did. It's, it is. Finished, obviously, with uh, several oils, bee wax and tongue oil. Beautiful one piece. They're not doing ears on here as they shouldn't. But this man, guys, this feels prime. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. This. Let's uh, check the edges. The edges are rolled off pretty nice. Let's see if they're consistent. And they appear to be. You have to understand, PV now has very little room for error. 
You know, they can get away with the, uh, oh, due to high demand, we had to stop here. But the truth is, it was just not good quality. And now, look at the lip. Now it's completely flush. Unlike the Wolfgang, which had a little overhang. The density is incredible. Wow. I have to say, guys, I am... Yeah, I'm not going to lie. This is, uh, this is good stuff. Let's plug it in and get to the bread and butter. Real quick, and I'm going handheld here. I was like, why not take the back plates off real quick? And again, just a drop dead gorgeous view of this incredibly stunning piece of wood. I mean, look at this, man. This is just exciting stuff. American quality assembled with Eastern European craftsmanship. Maybe PV starting something new here. I wanted to show you something real quick. I wasn't even going to put this into the video, but I was so blown away. And this guitar keeps impressing me. The quality speaks for itself. So first and foremost, here's the switch, craft switch, which is a high quality one. But notice something that you rarely see. The wood is treated and finished on the inside, the basswood. And this is something that the EVH Stealth doesn't even have. A lot of American guitars don't have that. That is so cool. And forgive me for going handheld, but I really want to get in there for you. Um, and the it gets better. The finish goes all the way over the lip, and then it is nourished, oiled, and sealed in the uh, on the inside. That is really cool, guys. I mean... PRS does that on the custom 22s and up, but those are five and a half, well, four and a half thousand dollar guitars now, but this is really cool, man. Uh, the wiring, the cutouts, the, the lips, and everything is perfectly flush. Same here, look at that. It is finished on the sides so that you have no bleed through at all when you have the covers that are fully flush, or in this case, on top of it. Um, there is a real Floyd Rose block, so not a cheapie. I'm telling you, man, and the best part is, the serial, I was wrong, actually is on the guitar, and here it is. Number 10, and the wiring, man, and the finish looks awesome. So the fact that they treated the wood on the inside and then sealed it and finished it, uh, dude, this is good stuff, man. They're using high quality 500. Uh, this is these are what two C pots. These are really good, man. All right, look. Um, in all honesty, I was not expecting as much as I'm getting for my money today. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit it. And we're not done with the surprises and the guitar impressing us look how beautiful that chrome finish is but i just noticed as i'm getting ready for the sound review look what they did underneath they put a little rubber lip in there perfectly cut so when you hammer it off it doesn't hit the body so not only is the pocket treated but there's a little rubber band in there that totally blocks it and kind of hits it just perfect instead of slamming against the body it is rather time consuming to do this and something that easily could have been skipped or not even noticed and then make no mention of it but again this guitar just every time i'm about to plug it in and play it comes up with this Oh, look, we went the extra mile on this one, too. Incredible. All right. Here we are at the bread and butter of things. Uh, how does this puppy sound? I got to tell you, I still have a hard time getting over how beautiful this thing is. And, and, and more so how well done it is. Look at the tightness and the grain of that fretboard and it's flamed it is i mean look i don't know 
the legalities of NOS, if it really is 30 year old wood or 25 year old wood, it is, I, I don't know. What I do know is this guitar is built really well and we'll talk about my verdict at the end. So I just plugged it in, uh, I tuned it up. Hey, my Layla's here. Um, usually people run what I play. What's going on? I'm in the middle of a review. <laughs> so listen, I just plugged it in. Uh, I think these are tens. Forgive me, I'm gonna restring it. I didn't want to do it in real time with you so that we don't um, miss out on anything. So if the intonation is slightly off, it's the guitar is still kind of cold. You know, it's 60 degrees in LA. It came from uh, AMS. What is that? Uh, Minnesota or something like that. So you can tell it's a little, you know. So uh, don't don't think I don't know how to tune a guitar. It's just uh, I want to do this in real time. So I don't know how this is, let's discover it. We got uh, a push pull here and this is hard to, to kind of, and one here. So I'm on the JS, uh, HJS uh, Marshall, the Satriani head, um, the, the red channel on the clean. And let's see what we got. Look, we got Layler here. Sorry, baby, I gotta play real quick. I gotta play, I wanna know what this guitar sounds like. Get out of here. Oh, you're gonna get a treat. <laughs> Uh, I think this should not be reversed now, right? Good. So I have a little bit of a, a spring reverb and a little bit of delay, and that's it, nothing else. So just to give it a little bit of a mask, because we want to see what the overall uh, exposure of the pickups are. So let's see here. very much like the uh, original um, Wolfgang, maybe slightly more overwound, just to kind of make, give it a distinction. Uh, go to the PV review I have, the EBMM, EBMM versus PV versus uh, DVH Stealth, um, but this is nice. Sorry for the intonation again, I tuned it up, but, but it needs a little bit of a setup and um, I'll do that tomorrow, but this is... All right, screw the middle pickup and or the middle combination and on to the neck. Real nice tone bleed, wow. The pots are very good, even at 1.5, I'm still getting sound. Beautiful bleed through. feel great. The PV Wolfgang had a little bit of an identity crisis with the frets, so they played it very safe here, just jumbos and it's just perfect. Go a little jazzier if you roll, roll that down. Wow, listen to the overtones. That's dialed in perfectly. I mean, that's a really beautiful, those are beautiful sounding pickups, man. I mean, they, you can definitely tell some time went into dialing those in. Wow, really, really, really nice. And I love that the Floyd can be adjusted here now. Um, just absolutely, I love when it comes back to the body, you can feel that rubber there just kind of uh, waiting for it and not letting it kind of go too harsh on the body. If you're one of those that, you know, likes to protect your guitars, I, I play them into the ground, you know, but this is a, a really, really nice sound, so. Spectacular. 
spectacular pickups. You can tell, listen, this guitar has been around for a long time. They took something existing, which Eddie and PV with the PV Wolfgang, they really created a masterpiece. And I'm even surprised looking at my other review, how many people love the PV and how many people own it or want to get one now. Um, so this was about taking it, tweaking it, kind of, uh, you know, uh, fine tuning it a little bit with beautiful things, rounding it off, changing the screws, you know, um, just, I mean, this is, the neck feels ridiculous. I mean, this is just, I wish you could be here and, and, and touch it and feel it. It is so smooth. They rounded off the edges here. It feels like a, uh, like a Wolfgang, PB Wolfgang Plus, you know? But again, I'm not comparing it to the Wolfgang. This is obviously is, isn't, I'll let you decide, but uh, it is uh, very, very, very impressive. Let's see how the, the split works now. So if I'm here, so that didn't do anything. Oh, let me guess. Wow, so this split will be probably for the bridge and this for the next, so let's see. So the tone split. Yeah, sure enough. Uh, and then this is probably for the neck. Wow, that's a beautiful tone. I'm usually uh, not a fan of humbuckers that have split options. In the Les Paul, it never works. It's even on the Paul Reed Smith, it's a gimmick. But this, this is a nice one, man. This is really nice. Wow, that's a beautiful one. Uh, then the, the bridge is very, it, it's harsh. You gotta kind of dial it back a little bit. Um, let's compare the, 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 the bridge with the push-pull. It's, it's, it's almost telecastery. It's like a... Very telecastery. So it has its use probably, but I personally wouldn't be much on it. If I needed that kind of sound, I'd probably just go and pick the telecaster up. But man, let's come back to this neck. I mean, this... Wow, that, that is ridiculously nice. Listen to this. compared like with a um, let's go back to the Lenny phrase that's such a great giveaway so uh, full humbucker split oh wow that is sick I could probably use a little bit more delay and, and etc but again it's just about exposing the pickups this is Holy shit, what a nice split. Sorry, a little bit of um, intonation. I can tell it's just not fully dialed in. The 15, um, the the 15 inch radius is is absolutely 
stunning. So I have to say I'm in incredibly, wow, these are just awesome pickups, man. <laughs> Those are badass pickups, man. Badass pickups. Let's, uh, in incredibly impressed. Let's check out some uh, high gain. All right, let's just jump a little bit all over the place between the bridge and the neck um, and just kind of see what we got. I mean, <laughs> gorgeous. Wow. aggressive pickups and I have the gain quite high but again I just want to show you the diversity be diversity between bridge and neck you know but this is uh, let's see what the roll off is uh, oh wow uh, uh, wow with a half a point already I'm getting bleed through which is beautiful even with the with the tone down those are incredibly good pots is what that means wow shoving it they're giving it to me today man I, I you know I'm a little bit caught off guard and and I and I'll admit it you know I, I can easily retape this and act like I expected it but I didn't um, and I usually point out things that I don't like in reviews and I think that's I would like to believe why you like them because I, I you know I'll, I'll call shit for what it is I don't care if it's a uh, Petrucci or Satriani, I don't care, you know, if something is not good on it, it isn't, but but today it's the opposite, man. PV, PV is shoving it up my you-know-what today, man. It's, I mean, listen to the, to the resonance on this. So you have like... Incredible. 
looked like a fucking tank, man. Um, wow, that's incredibly impressive. And again, I apologize for the intonation. I'm not dialed in. This is straight out of the box. I don't know. I don't know how else to say it. It's it's basically a a PV Wolfgang on steroids. Uh, the HP2, and I think uh, they did the right thing. Uh, you know, if you're gonna name a guitar after the founder of the company, um, man, I uh, I think they have a home run with this one. Um, you know, um, yeah, I, this sounds pretty freaking awesome. So I can't wait to go do my thing with it, dial it in, and and set it up with 942s. Maybe not even 946 would be nice on this. But the, the fretwork is badass. The wood selection is badass. The build quality is badass. The pickups are badass. The split coils are badass. The guitar is badass, man. I mean... <laughs> Drive still. I mean, this is straight into the amp, basically. guys an absolutely incredible instrument one uh, again I just have to be truthful here when I ordered this and I knew it was gonna arrive today I uh, kind of mentally prepared myself okay look you know you probably probably gonna end up saying this should be a 1799 instrument and it's not made in the USA and blah 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 but uh, I give them a lot of respect for going back to the drawing board getting the right builder, traveling there, checking out, making sure you get the right five, six luthiers to work on this, and the right company, obviously, and uh, as production ramps up, I'm, I'm sure when the NOS stock is out or finished, then they're gonna go into regular production, assuming sales are good. Listen, I have great respect for PV, for the company. They've done a lot of stuff, obviously, or electronics. Eddie went to them. The first PV Wolfgang is a masterpiece. This was a little slippery, slopery, very wet, uncomfortable ground because if you screw this up like they did in the first run, you're not going to have much to save face. Uh, with respect to it being uh, not made in the USA, I can tell you, uh, well, for one, obviously, that did not work out. And I get it. Look, uh, obviously, you can tell I, <laughs> I prefer to buy made in USA. But this was outsourced the right way. And, and Eastern Europe, um, I mean, they went over there and they knew what they needed in order for this to be a success and for a guy like me to take it out of the case, who's usually very skeptical about anything. So I still think the price point should be a little bit less, could be a little bit less, maybe $21.99. The other problem I have is that the black one is $24.99 and so is the Tigerite and the ocean blue and the other ones. So the black one you would think will be less like the initial run was. Uh, that being said, I didn't pay close to near this price and neither will you if you have a good relationship or obviously you can pick it up on the secondhand market, but not just yet as they're still coming out. I only have serial number 10 and I've seen 36 and 40, etc., etc. So it's weird that uh, this one came later to uh, AMS because I've seen higher NOS numbers and I don't know what the story is if it's 40 50 or the first hundred that are going to be NOS but uh, this is a app listen if this set made in the USA you'd have me fooled and ironically it's made in the Czech Republic and it's better than most of the USA guitars I've bought recently in that price range I have to say they um, they've hit a home run uh, and uh, I am I mean, look at the rounding here, the density of the wood. I'm an absolute beautiful shock, and I can highly recommend this guitar. Look, it is a PB Wolfgang. 
um, they can't tell you I will. It's a PV Wolfgang with split coils. And you can literally put EVH pickups in this if you wanted to. These PV pickups are very aggressive. Maybe there might be uh, some opportunity for me to dial that in a little bit more. Uh, but my lord, does this neck feel incredible. And the craftsmanship is absolutely stunning. So highly recommend it. Go pick one up. And um, PV, you owe me a... Uh, I don't know what you owe me, man. This is going to help sell some of these. So, But... Um, I better get a, does PB still make strings? <laughs> anyway, see you guys soon.